and just a minute or two here for the players to get warmed up before the start of the game. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. Now, Golden State's starting five. All right, man. In its small and power forward, it'll be Wiggins and Green. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for them. It's Curry and Heel. And it's Jackson Davis in at the center position. And for Los Angeles, the guard spot's filled by Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three spot. And if you claim to be a basketball purist, and Greg, I know you do, one thing you gotta love watching is great ball movement. Which is something both of these teams take pride in. It's always fun to watch guys be unselfish with the ball and look to make each other better. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And Davis sends it back. No surprise why A.D. has led the league in blocks before. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Davis with a screen on green. Back to Davis. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Greg, as you were saying, beyond the blocks, what makes Anthony Davis special on defense is the way he navigates the floor. Kevin, most bigs can get picked on in pick and roll action. Davis, though, too quick and smart to take advantage of. He can slip screens, hedge, switch, and recover like he's a 3 and D wing. The Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. James banked in off the glass. A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, last season, Draymond Green got his three-pointer going again. He said, over the years, my shot took a dive. It was in large part because I couldn't get in and out of my hips. They were messed up. It was getting my movement patterns right. Kevin, my hips haven't been the same in years, but Draymond's are good, and now they've made him tough to deal with. Back to you. Your hips are pretty good, David. I've always said your hip. Floor spacing, always critical. Good point, B.A. Green with a screen for Wiggins. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Russell finds Hachimura. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Yeah, and this is a tough one to figure out because Rui hitting the three, that makes him really difficult to check. And so Steve Kerr calls for the timeout. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with his guys. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Vanderbilt's checked in for James. Connect comes in for Rui Hachimura. Christie's checked in for Austin Reeves. And Vincent subbed in for Russell. Then for the Warriors, Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Green. And Kaminga subbed in for Wiggins. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Curry passes to Anderson to stop the run. Outside, Kaminga. Anderson outside. No one near Curry as he lets it go. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Los Angeles leading by four. Stolen by Anderson. Fires the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Over in the corner, Vincent. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers ahead, up four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. 
And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. So on the floor for Golden State to begin the second quarter. In the backcourt, we'll see Curry and Pajemski. Kaminga out there with Anderson. And it's Looney in at the five. And guys, hold on now. I'm getting word we have Shams Charania calling in. Shams, what do you have for us? Thanks. And this summer saw the passing of Laker legend, three-time basketball Hall of Famer, the logo, Jerry West, an all-star every year of his outstanding playing career before going on to have such a successful career as a coach and as an executive. Guys, this league will bear his imprint forever. Jerry West will be missed. An all-time great for sure. Okay, Shams, we appreciate the reporting. Six to shoot. Pass to Pajemski. Over Reddish. Shot by Pajemski, no good. Los Angeles leading by six. LeBron passes to Vincent. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's James. It's rebounded by Curry. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Anderson outside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And, Brent, you've seen the way the game has grown over the years. The skill level of the league is higher than ever. Yeah, the talent level, Kevin, that is on display on a nightly basis in this league is staggering. But a lot of kids out there watching what's going on, they're going to push this game even further. How exciting is that? Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Hachimura, he's checked in for Cameron Reddish. Austin Reeves comes in for Christie. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Gabe Vincent. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. The Warriors have found something with Draymond Green and Trace Jackson Davis inside. Green says, with the rim protected by Trace, I can just play off instinct and lead the game. Jackson Davis says, being able to interchange with him is great. The things he teaches me has helped my game a lot. Kevin? I love to hear those stories. Thanks, David. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And it goes on Draymond Green. The feel LeBron has for the game, unreal. In whatever situation he finds himself in, he always seems to have an answer. He's off on the first. You know, it's inevitable that a player's physical abilities diminish over the course of a career. But the thing that stands out to me about LeBron James is that he never lost his insatiable drive to win. Guys, if anything, he's gotten stronger. But he healed, he's checked in for the Warriors. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. Wants to talk some things over, might be seeing some things to adjust. There's 45 seconds left in the first half of the game. Stolen by Reeves. And it's the Lakers on the break. LeBron outside. To the paint. It's stolen by Heel. Curry on the wing. Down low. Wiggins kicks to Heel. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Curry. Curry through traffic. Count it! Oh! Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers lead by five. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. 
Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively. But he's going to keep going at them. Greg, since reaching five consecutive NBA Finals, the Warriors have missed the playoffs three of the past five years. And to be fair, uh, they did go 46 and 36 last season. They were 10 games over 500 last year. So they weren't a bad team, but Golden State doesn't just expect to be in the play in. They want to be a contender. The guard spots filled by Russell and Reed. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. That's the Laker five. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Trailing by four. Driving the lane. And Davis sends it back. Here's LeBron. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Did you see LeBron just shrug off that contact there? It's like... Nothing even hit him. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. It seems likely that the Warriors title run under Steph Curry. Brent has probably come to a close. Now, I'm not going to count Steph Curry out quite yet, Kevin, but, you know, they have added some quality youngsters. They're trying to grow that group. How fast can they bring those kids along to championship caliber players? That's the big question. They're going to win their share of games. Lakers leading by five. Davis with a screen on Curry. Inside. Pulls up. Davis against Wiggins. And Davis throws it down. Yeah, the added muscle Davis has put on, helping him on these tough finishes. Flexing on him there. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Curry looking it over. Off target from outside. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Davis with a screen on Curry to the inside. And it's slammed in by Davis. Superb pick and roll action capped off with a perfect pass to the slashing AD. Leads to the easy deuce. Healed outside. In the corner it's Wiggins. Outside Green. From the arc, Hachimura grabs the miss. For Los Angeles, they've gone four or six in the field since the start of the third. The eight-footer, Davis using his size. Time out, time out. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Christie, he's checked in for Austin Reed. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Anderson outside. Pass to Heald. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. But he's showing more than just the fact that he's a shooter working his way strength on the inside there. Hachimura finds Davis. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. James a screen on Curry. 
Russell passes to Christie. Shoots over Curry. Moves back up. Out to Russell. Pass to James. Got it off in time. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Lakers ahead. They lead by nine. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you'll want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. It's the fourth quarter. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Up front, it's Green at the four with Jackson Davis at the five. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry in heel. And it's Wiggins in at the three. Now here's LeBron. Five to shoot. LeBron James charging through contact. Look, with the size and athleticism of LeBron James, he gives you more problems than the math book. In the corner, it's healed. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Here's LeBron. Hachimura finds James. Loads it up for Davis. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. James has a two-pointer, and the Lakers tack on two more. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Now here's Curry. Puts up a deep three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Pass to Hachimura. James with a powerful jam. Not the first, and certainly not the last time we'll see this. LeBron finding airspace. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. You want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. He has decided it's the right time to talk. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Curry kicks to Wiggins. And the Warriors miss again. And really, for some reason, just not a big part of their offense today. Hard to get into a rhythm when you're getting so few opportunities at the rim. Now here is Davis. James outside. Pocket six. Warriors with the rebound. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Lakers. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Anthony Davis. Well, a consistent intensity is what he brought to the floor here. He hit the glass hard. And he came up with a ton of rebounds. And one of the best big men in the game, Davis continuing to prove how dominant he is. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Vanderbilt's checked in for James. Connect comes in for Rui Hachimura. Radish, he's checked in for Austin Reed. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Russell. Kaminga off target with the jump hook. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Radish the pass to Davis. Over Green. 
And it's off the back rim. No good. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. LeBron, in the fourth quarter, were you looking to be aggressive? Yeah, I just try to close the game out. You know, my teammates look for me in the fourth quarter to close the game out with my scoring and just my playmaking ability. So, uh, you know, to be able to go out there and come through for it means a lot. I know they're used to it by now, but I know you're still happy with the win. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Fred Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. And now we present the player of the game, Anthony Davis.